Now in previous chapters we learned about debtors control and creditors control. We also have a control account for stock. So rather than calling the stock account just stock, that's no good anymore. We're going to need to call it stock control. So that word is very important. We're going to need to use it on all references at all times. Uh, it's still an asset, so it's still got the same rules of debits and credits. So when it goes up, that's a debit. And when it goes down, that's a credit. What transactions will actually increase stock control? So stock will go up when we buy stock from suppliers. There's a stock gain, and we'll learn what that is later. Or maybe the owner contributes stock to the business personally, which is a capital contribution. When does stock go down? It goes down when stock is sold. It could go down if there's a stock loss. So we'll look at that. It could be, say, theft, for example. Maybe the owner takes out stock for personal use. And for now, the only other reason could be the business donates some for advertising purposes. What does a control account for stock mean? Well, let's look at what we did for debtors. So for debtors, what that meant was we had one ledger called the control account in the general ledger, and then a few subsidiary ledgers that basically broke down the title in the control account. So you can see the title of 4950 in the debtors control account is made up of each of those individual transactions there in the subsidiary ledgers. So this is kind of similar. What we're going to do is in the general ledger have one giant ledger called stock control. And then we'll have subsidiary, not ledgers. We're going to call them uh, subsidiary records in the form of stock cards. So for this business, we've got a stock card for every single product that we sell. And in this case, we've got a stock card for Collingwood scarves. So you can see here on the 1st of the 5th, there's 800 uh, scarves. They cost $10 each. That's a title of 8,000. I've also got some Essendon scarves. They're 500 in quantity, $10 in cost, and that's a total of 5,000. And we've got Carlton scarves, 200 of them, at a cost of $10 for a total of 2,000. So just like when debtors subsidiary records equal debtors control, what we'll have is that the uh, stock control account of 15,000 must equal the balance of all the subsidiary accounts, which in this case are called stock cards. That acts as what's called a cross-checking mechanism to make sure things are free from error.